the um Black Widow trailer just dropped. They've dropped a new one. So I gotta get you guys waited. Yes. Black Widow after eight years. <laughs> 20 years we've been waiting. Yo, Scarlett Johansson, where ass. is this movie? Finally in theaters eight next years. month. What's up? She, she did an interview and said this whole thing took eight years. Crazy. Yeah. But I want I, I'm excited for one. Because remember, she dies at Endgame. I know, spoiler, right? <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> well, if you haven't watched Endgame, eight year old yeah. spoiler, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just sorry. saying. I'm sorry. But, that thing's on cable TV now. If you haven't yeah, seen I know. it, that's a it's on TNT yeah. every other day. I know. If you I haven't you. watched it, then you know what? Something's wrong with you. Right. But um, but now nah, it's just it's, it's 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 great to see how these characters are going to be in this movie. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of nice old time characters from the Marvel comic books and i want to see how that is going to come like we don't know what this is the beginning of her of her of her of her life or is it like is there an afterlife after this like we don't nobody knows am i right or am i wrong they've kind of said that this is going to be the almost the precursor how she became black widow and, and a lot of her uh espionage kind of adventures and stuff but to you're saying there's been no like solid this is the plot kind of right. super spoiled so but she you never know say- she did say that there's some parts of the movie that there is something after Endgame. I believe it. I believe it. She's too powerful of a character not to have her have presence somehow. Because, right. you know, I give Scarlett Johansson a lot of credit. When she first started in Iron Man 2 as the Black Widow, I was like, eh. But then she really made the character her own over these course of these movies. So I'm, I'm definitely excited. This is more my vein of stuff, by the way. I like more like Winter Soldier, Captain America. I like that spy kind of yeah, shit. I, 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 like, I love that. That's my shit. I, I'll keep it real. I, I'm, I'm actually more excited with Black Widow than I am for Spider-Man. Really? Oh, word. Okay. Well, I can't say that, but I am super excited <laughs> for the Black Widow movie because I, I'm a Spider-Man head. Like, yo, I yeah. love Spider-Man. So but I'm also I, I am intrigued. About that. What happened? Go ahead, Joey. No, I, I am intrigued about Black Widow um, because, you know, I really want to know, I, I really want more context to her character. I really want to see th- those little glimpses we got in Age of Ultron where, you know, yeah. Scarlet Witch was messing with her mind and it took her back to like when she was becoming training. an assassin. Yes. Yeah, training to become an assassin. And, you know, then you just get cut off and don't even know like, well, wh- where did that come from? I, I need more, I need more context to that. Um, also, we get to see, we're going to see more of her, uh, you know, this Red Room situation. Uh, we get more context with um, how her and maybe Hawkeye get together and how they yeah. link up because they do reference Budapest like yep. multiple times in, in previous movies. Um, so that, I'm really intrigued to see, like, to learn more about it. I think, you know, building her up through the Iron, by debuting her in Iron Man 2, her pulling up in Winter Soldier and all the Avengers movies, uh, I think it's created enough interest in her character enough that's why she said it was eight years in the making because they i i think you had to develop interest the same thing with hawkeye you yep. know these are characters that are kind of like secondary characters like you know like tier two characters in the marvel uh you know universe that you got to just spoon feed these spoon feed you know fans to kind of hey you know this is cool too like this Absolutely. would be a good this would be a good story to tell i mean i think they did a great job and i think with ant-man to, to make a character that I was never followed and I thought was kind of the corniest character out of, you know, any Marvel character there is. I'm with and you. I love Ant-Man. <laughs> I'm like, with I don't you. know. I, I like the Ant-Man movie. It was, no, the Ant-Man was, the, the movie is what, was phenomenal. Both of them were great, were amazing to me. I just wasn't a fan of the character, like, with comics. Like, I always wait, wait, thought hold on, as quick. a kid you, it was cheesy. You like Ant-Man Wasp like that? Yeah, I thought it was solid. I thought it was okay. <laughs> I thought it was okay. And what I made it okay, movie. what made it okay, I felt like I, you had to watch it because it tied, it tagged into um, to, to Endgame. It did. So it, it's, I, I thought it was, I thought it was okay. I think they, they could have did better with the villain for Ant-Man and Wasp. Yeah. I wasn't, a, I wasn't a big fan of the villain, um, yeah. Ghost. But, yeah. uh, but no, I think Marvel's done a good job to take these, you know, lower tier characters and just make, box office hits off of them and 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 solid uh you know with, they're doing hawkeye on disney plus like so yeah. great solid stories around these guys 